Gas. A type of poison that could kill a person within an hour or less. Russia is one place known with known for using it, creating poisonous gases within their factories. These factories were mainly for radioactive substances, which was a mistake on their behalf. But that wasn't their only mistake. They did experiments on people. Some survived, but then ended up dying in the end. The scientists that did the experiments were brutal. They would have these so-called participants wear gas masks that would have them inhale poisonous gases that were fatal to most. Vic, on the other hand, had had so many different types of gases and substances enter her body, she almost seemed immune to them. Vic started to catch the scientist's eyes with these, this immunity to the gases. They had the participants breathe in, but there was some, something else off with Vic. After about ten of these gases being absorbed into her body, she started to hear a voice, and not just that, that her body started to change. Her mind started to fade after the first change started, but the voice she heard kept her from losing herself and to her newfound insanity. This voice she would hear was calm but harsh. When Vic heard it, it was like being saved from a million years of solitude. One day, the scientist led her into a room with a table with leather straps draping to the sides. Vic was confused at first, but then it came, became clear. They were going to experiment on her, and only her. She then started to freak out, trying to get away but she was being blocked by one of the guards. She wasn't going to have it and charged straight for him and ended up knocking him over. She then started to punch him profusely to the point of him dying. She was losing herself. But before she could do any more damage, one of the other guards came up behind her and knocked her out with the back of his gun. She woke up a few minutes later, but now she was strapped to the table with one of the gas masks from earlier attached to her face. But something was off with the gas. It was one she had never seen before. She was scared, terrified in that matter. Then, out of the corner of her eye, she could see one of the scientists start to turn valves. Then, Vic couldn't breathe. The scientist turned off Vic's air supply. The scientist then went over to another valve and started to turn that one. Then the off-looking gas started to come towards the mask. The gas finally met with Vic's lungs and, it, and she could feel it burn, but it wasn't painful though. Then something went wrong. The valve for the air gave out and opened it up, mixing with the gas within her mass. Vic then started to have a reaction to the mixed combination. Her body started to change completely. She was started to look like a wolf, but the gas mask changed and fused with her, making it permanent, while her bones were cracking and breaking. But now, the tubing going to her mask broke away, filling the area but something else went wrong. As Vic was still getting her bearings, the radioactive substances that were in the factory ended up combusting, creating a huge chain reaction with everything within the building, this killing everyone except one. Vic was now turned into something that most people would have nightmares of. She made her way around the gas and flames filled building, when she got out, she came out with third-degree burns and torn up hind legs. There she goes, walking from the flame a consumed factory. She was now filled with anger and wrath.
but joy and happiness. She was finally free. But walking through the pain while her blood from her wounds oozed out from her body was hard. She was walking away from her horror-filled past and now burned forever. Thank you.